Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This morning we're going to talk about coffee. It's about 7.30 in the morning, and I just got back from the gym. And it feels like a good time for a cup of coffee. There's many things that go into a good cup of coffee. You have to first start with a good bean. Preferably the fresher the better. You have to have good water. You have to have a good process. And it's also affected by your experience. So my preferred coffee is from Black Rifle Coffee Company. They are a roast to order coffee company, so you order it. A couple of days later, it's being roasted and out the door to your house. They have multiple distribution centers now, one in Utah and one in Tennessee, so it reduces that time, and your coffee's pretty fresh by the time you get it. You also have to have good water. I have very high iron content in my water here at the house. So I use a Berkey water filter to filter all that water. I used to use the black Berkey filters to purify the water, but I have so much iron in the water, it would just sludge up the filters and you have to scrape them off. So I went back to ceramics. Still get a very, very good cup of, uh, cup of water, or pure water out of it. Uh, along with that, you have to have a good temperature. I know it's not good for pour over, but Whatever. So let's get started. Uh, first, you need, I'm using an AeroPress today. And we're going to kind of look at the measurements. I said about 19 grams of coffee for a single cup out of this. And today we're going to be using caffeinated AF, is what I've got in this tin here. So this, uh, this already comes pre ground. Most everything else I get is beans. So this is one measure scoop for there. You know, if you, you get your beans whole, pretty good grinder. It's like 13 bucks. Does a really good job. Let's see if I can't link all that below. Um, pretty simple, really. Got my water already preheated. I'm at 185. It, it really varies who you talk to, what temperature you use, but it's all around 190 to 205. Non expert, so you know, do as you please, experiment, try it out. It's real simple with this just pour some water in and then we let it bloom a little bit, stir it. Top it off with the water. And at this point, it's varying ideas on how long you let it sit. While you're doing that, you can pretty much your filter. That'll help so you're not soaking coffee up in the filter. I always pick this thing up when you put the lid on it. Did it work one day? And it's sitting down, it's pretty, it clears five feet of coffee. It's not fucking clean. So you can wait anywhere from one to four minutes, depending on what you use. But with this, you're going to uh, process. You use a little thicker grind. You don't want a real fine, fine grind. A little coarser. You get too fine, it won't process and just cake up, and you can't do anything with it. So we'll wait a few minutes here, and we'll come back and we'll press it. All right, it's been a few minutes, so now we're going to press the coffee out. It's real simple. You just invert it, sit it on top of your cup, or if you're doing a lot of coffee for multiple people, you get a different container. This one's marked inside so you can help measure how many uh, servings you're making. And when you press it down, you just want pressure. You don't want to force it down. If you force it down with the low-pass filter, put the grounds in the coffee, we'll do any good. So I just typically rest my arms on it, put a little pressure on it, and just wait until the bottom's out. It doesn't take very long. Now what we'll do today is we'll add water to this. This AeroPress kind of markets this as a semi-espresso. 
So what we'd be really making today would be an Americano. And top it off with a little bit of water. There's your cup of coffee. Now you're free to drink it black or ruin it with some pumpkin spice latte mix or something, which I don't recommend, but to each their own. So, like I said, coffee's not just about the coffee and the water and the method. You know, it's about the experience. You can have the shittiest cup of coffee in the world and it will be taste the best. Some of the best times I've had or best moments and cups of coffee have been um, in the middle of nowhere on the OP drinking Mermite coffee for people who know what that is. You know how nasty that can be. You know, OP smoking cigarette, drinking a cup of coffee and waiting to put rounds that rain. Those were some of the best times with my friends and my brothers. So continue that today. Have a cup of coffee with a friend. Sit out on your porch, watch the sunrise. Enjoy it. So we'll uh, try to link to some of this stuff below just to help you out there. Press coffee, coffee. They have the coffee club. I'm not affiliated with it, but it's pretty sweet. You sign up. You can do you know on a monthly, weekly basis kind of thing of what you want, and it comes up. They'll just ship it. You can change it around. You can. Uh, postpone it or delay it and change your dates whenever you need to as long as you're not shipping already uh, Good affordable price and they're always coming out with more. These are only a couple I have here It's has some murdered out as well so There's plenty of variation and it's a better owned better operated company that you know, Seem to be doing pretty good to try to help, uh, help us out so Support them, give them a try. We'll put the AeroPress on there. The Strike Force Energy, I use that as a pre workout. I am affiliated with them, and I'll give you a discount code below. Uh, typically use them as pre workout or get through the day. They're uh, better known by a Navy SEAL, go figure, and they're pretty active in the community as well. So give them a try out. They also have subscription programs where you can do the same kind of thing. Uh, they come in. 10 and 40 packet boxes, as well as 750 milliliter bottles. Yeah. Try it out. So, with that, I'm going to say, you know, go check out Josh Eber Eberstall's channel. He, yeah, I know, he's a little, he's a little hipster, but he loves coffee, and he is starting to share his experiences with you. So, go check him out, see what he's got to say, and give him some support. Until next time, take it easy.